Hey friends, welcome back to College Sports Corner. I'm Barry. It's Friday. We finally made it. Happy Friday to you. Uh, week four is coming up here and it's got some good games, good matchups, and looks like it's going to be pretty good like the first three weeks have been so far. So let's get down to some news and headlines. Uh, already the SEC on Tuesday has already announced their schedules for next year, quarter way into this season. Uh, saw some of the teams. There's some pretty good matchups coming up. Uh, Miami quarterback Derek King has a shoulder injury, and it looks like he's probably going to be out for about four weeks is what they're saying, so he definitely won't play anytime soon. Uh, last week, Utah quarterback Charlie Brewer was benched for his poor performance. This week, he left school. I don't know if it's because of that or some other reason, but anyway, Charlie Brewer is no longer a Utah Ute. Uh, college football playoff committee will not vote next week to expand the playoffs. So you suck, CFP. Uh, hey, Northwestern fans, you may have heard this, you may not have. Uh, Northwestern received a $4,800 million, $480 million, I'm sorry, gift from the Ryan family to uh, renovate Ryan Field. Uh, last time it was renovated was 96 and kind of looks like it needs it. I don't know, I've never been there. Maybe, maybe it's nice inside, who knows, I don't know. Uh, Ryan Day announced C.J. Stroud will not play Saturday unless it's an emergency. Now, usually when a top team says their quarterback's not going to play, they don't add that in case it's an emergency. So does that mean Ryan Day doesn't have much confidence in his quarterbacks or the way his team is playing? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll wait and see on Saturday, huh? Uh, hey, here's an interesting fact I found. There's only This year so far, through three games, some teams have played four, there's only four teams that uh, have not turned the ball over this uh, this season yet. That would be Liberty, Rutgers, Michigan, and Louisiana Monroe. So that's, that's a pretty cool fact I found. All right, uh, last night we had a game. Uh, it was a barn burner. Appalachian State 31, Marshall 30. Uh, Marshall drops to 2-2. Two and two. Appalachian State creases to 3-1. and one. Uh, Tonight we got some games. 6.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. We got Middle Tennessee. One and two at Charlotte, two and one. Uh, seven Eastern on ESPN two. Wake Forest three and zero oh at Virginia. Good ACC battle. Uh, Demon Deacons are averaging four hundred and sixteen yards a game, averaging two hundred and thirty three passing yards and one hundred and eighty three rushing yards. Cavaliers averaging five hundred and fifty eight yards a game, four hundred and thirty eight passing yards and one hundred and twenty rushing yards. Uh, the quarterback, Brendan Armstrong, has passed for 1,298 yards and 11 touchdowns so far this year. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, ACC Network. Liberty 3-0 at Syracuse 2-1. Liberty's averaging 435 total yards, 238 passing, 193 rushing. Uh, Liberty won this game last year, actually. Syracuse is a averaging 421 yards a game, 209 passing, 212 rushing. And 10 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. UNLV 0-2 at Fresno State 3-1. Uh, poor UNLV. Fresno State's on a roll. and they're, uh, They should be undefeated, really, if it wasn't for that Oregon game. But it is what it is. All right, for Saturday, here's your pregame shows that I found. Uh, game day is going to be at Chicago for Notre Dame and Wisconsin. SEC Nation is going to be in Columbia, South Carolina for Kentucky and South Carolina. Big Ten Tailgate, they're going to be in Chicago, too, for Wisconsin, Notre Dame. And Fox Big Noon Kickoff, they're going to be in Chicago for Notre Dame and Wisconsin. So, <laughs> going to be four preview shows there. Uh, ACC, Pac-12, I couldn't find anything. Uh, they put a, ACC and Pac-12 both put a list out, like in last summer, where they were going to be. But I don't know why they don't put it on their... Facebook pages or whatever, so figure they want their fans to know. All right, starting it off, noon Eastern on ESPNU, Bowling Green 1 and 2 at Minnesota 2 and 1. Noon Eastern on CBS, Boise State 1 and 2 at Utah State 3 and 0. Now it says CBS, but usually those Mountain West teams seem to play on CBS Sports Network, so maybe that was a misprint that I saw. So CBS or CBS Sports Network, one of the two. Uh, yeah, Boise State 1 and 2. That's hard to believe. Boise State's usually pretty good every year. Uh, noon Eastern on ESPN Plus. Florida International 1 and 2. At Central Michigan 1 and 2. 
Noon Eastern on ESPN, LSU at Mississippi State. LSU's 2-1 and one now. Mississippi State is 2-1. and one. Um, Tigers got revenge on their mind from that game. They made that first game last year when Mississippi State just kicked their ass in Tiger Stadium, and everybody was high on Mississippi State for a few weeks, and then they came right back down. But, yeah, LSU looking for revenge. Um, Noon Eastern, CBS Sports Network. Miami of Ohio 1-2 and two at Army 3-0. Army's off to a pretty good start this year. Noon Eastern on ESPN2. Missouri 2-1 two at Boston College 3-0. Um, I understand there's a little crap talking back and forth between the schools. I don't know what that was all about. Something about being up north or I don't know. I didn't catch it all, but evidently there's some chirping going on back and forth already. Uh, here's the big one here. Noon Eastern Fox. Notre Dame 3-0 and at... Wisconsin 1-1. One one. Uh, Badger, Badger struggled against Penn State a few weeks ago. Iris seem to be struggling every week. So <laughs> I guess whoever's not going to struggle is going to win this one. Uh, New Eastern ESPN Plus. New Hampshire 3-0 at Pitt 2-1. 3-0 and and Wildcats looking for another FCS upset over Pitt to add to the list of growing FCS upsets this year. Uh, New Eastern Big Ten Network. Villanova 3-0 at Penn State 3-0. Two undefeateds going at it there. Noon Eastern on the Big Ten Network, I guess the alternate. Ohio 0-3 at Northwestern 1-3. Wildcats, man, they're off to a bad start this year. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Noon Eastern, ACC Network. Richmond 2-1 at Vautech 2-1. Hokies looking to bounce back from that loss they had last week. Noon Eastern on FS1, SMU 3-0 at TCU 2-0. It's a battle of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. They call this, I think they have a trophy called the Skillet or something like that. I forget. I haven't, I haven't uh, watched this game in a long time. But anyway, bragging rights for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex on Saturday. Uh, Noon Eastern, ABC, Texas Tech 3-0 at Texas 2-1. That's a good battle there. Noon Eastern on SEC Network, Georgia 3-0 and at Vandy 1-2. and uh, I don't think Vandy's going to get that second win there. Sorry, Vanderbilt fans. I just don't see it happening, as I'm sure a lot of people don't. Uh, Noon Eastern, ESPN Plus, Wagner 0-3 at Temple 1-2. and uh, Let's see here, 12-30 Eastern. I couldn't find any TV for this. Coast, uh, Central Connecticut State 1-2 and at Miami 1-2. and um, maybe that's why <laughs> both one and two, maybe nobody wanted to pick that game up. I don't know. Uh, 1 PM Eastern ESPN plus UMass 0 and 3 at Coastal Carolina 3 and 0. Uh, Massachusetts is 0 and 14. That's their losing streak right now. 14 games going all the way back to 2019. Uh, let's see 2 PM Eastern on ESPN plus San Jose state 2 and 1 at Western Michigan 2 and 1. 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, Toledo 1 and 2 at Ball State 1 and 2. 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, Texas State 1 and 2 at Eastern Michigan 2 and 1. 2.30 Eastern on ESPN 3, Maine 1 and 2 at Northern Illinois 1 and 2. Black Bears coming to try to get an FCS upset. Uh, 2.30 Eastern, Pac-12 Network, Washington State 1 and 2 at Utah State 1 and 2. These are two Pac-12 teams that are just struggling really bad this year. Uh, like I said a while ago, no uh, Charlie Brewer for Utah. He left school for whatever reason. 3.30 Eastern on ESPN. Clemson 2-1 and one at North Carolina State 2-1. and one. Uh, Tigers have won 15 of the last 16 in this series. They've won the last eight in a row. But the way uh, their offense is looking, uh, I don't know. NC State might pull the upset there and Get back in a winning column on this series. 3.30 Eastern, FS1. Colorado State 1-2 and two at Iowa 3-0. and oh. Iowa's looking to get to their fourth win this season. 3.30 Eastern on Big Ten Network. Illinois 1-3. and three. Purdue is 2-1. and one. That series is tied at 45-45 and six ties. 3.30 Eastern on Fox. Iowa State 2-1 and one at Baylor 3-0. and oh. uh, Cyclones, they've, they've struggled this year in Brock Purdy just doesn't look as good as he has the last couple of years, but I don't know if it's going to get any better. 
330 Eastern on Big Ten Network. Kent State 1-2 and two at Maryland 3-0. and uh, Terrapins are looking pretty good this year, going for their fourth win. 330 Eastern ESPN 2, Louisville 2-1 two and one at Florida State 0-3. End of September, and the Seminoles are still looking for the first win. Did you ever think you would hear that from anywhere? That's just crazy. Uh, ES 330 Eastern ABC, Rutgers 3-0 and at Mark, Michigan 3-0. and both undefeated. Both are playing good. I guess we're going to see what they're made of tomorrow. 3.30 Eastern. Uh, no TV found. Towson 1-2 and two at San Diego State 3-0. and 3.30 Eastern CBS. Texas A&M 3-0 and at Arkansas 3-0. and Good SEC West battle. We know the Razorbacks are good. It's time to find out the Aggies really are. Uh, I'm not harping on Aggies fans. I'm an Aggie fan. That's the team I root for, but... From what I've seen these last few games, compared to what I've seen Arkansas these last few games, yeah, I'm, I have hope, but I don't know. 3.30 Eastern, ESPNU, UTSA 3-0 at Memphis 3-0. Uh, both the, both these uh, teams, they've beaten, they've beaten big-time teams. Now they have to keep up their good season going. UTSA beat uh, Illinois a couple of weeks ago, and Memphis, I think it was Mississippi State, they beat last week or the week before. So that could be a pretty good game. If you want to watch any of the other ones, hey, check it out. It's going to be on ESPNU at 3.30 Eastern. Okay, uh, what we got here? 3.30 Eastern, CBS Sports Network, Wyoming 3-0 at UConn, 0-4. Cowboys going all the way over to the East Coast to give UConn their fifth loss. 4 p.m. Eastern, SEC Network, Georgia State 1-2 at Auburn 2-1. Bo Nix and all them guys looking to bounce back from that Penn State loss. 4 p.m. Eastern, ACC Network, Kansas 1-2, and two, Duke 2-1. Two and one. That'd be a hell of a basketball game, wouldn't it? Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Arkansas State 1-2 and two at Tulsa 0-3. Oh 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Buffalo 1-2 and two at Old Dominion 1-2. and two. 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Charleston Southern 1-1, one and one, East Carolina 1-2. and two. 6 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 Network, UCLA 2-1 and one at Stanford 2-1. and one. Stanford has won 12 of the last 13, but UCLA leads the series 46-43 in three ties. 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Louisiana Lafayette 2-1. and one. I guess this is just Louisiana now. Yeah, Georgia Southern 1-2. and two. 6.30 Eastern, ESPN 3, Texas Southern 0-2 oh at Rice 0-3. Oh hey, somebody's going to get their first win in that game. 7.30 Eastern, SEC Network, Southern Miss 1-2 and two at Alabama 3-0. Poor Southern Miss, you know Saban was all over Alabama's ass this week about the way they played last week. So I'm sure they're going to come out on fire because they don't want to get yelled at again this week. Uh, 7.30 Eastern, ABC, West Virginia 2-1 and one at Oklahoma 3-0. and oh. um, West Virginia, they got a pretty good chance to win. They're playing great football right now and Tulane took OU to the wire. And the only reason Nebraska lost is because their kicking game sucked and they left, left nine points out on the field. So Oklahoma, very, very rare, could have lost both those games. So I would not be surprised if West Virginia pulls the upset here. But they're playing in Norman, so I don't know. Uh, let's see, 8 p.m. Eastern, FS2, Florida Atlantic 2-1 and one at Air Force 2-1. and one. This game could be pretty good. Uh, 8 Eastern on FLOF, I guess that's streaming. I think we've discussed that before. I think it's some kind of streaming service or channel or something. Uh, Hawaii 1-3 at New Mexico State 1-3. And, and again, somebody's getting their second win Saturday night. 8 p.m. Eastern, CBS Sports Network. Indiana 1-2 at Western Kentucky 1-1. One one. Kind of disappointing Indiana this year. I figured they'd be a lot better than they are. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Troy 2-1 and one at UL Monroe 1-1. One and one. See if UL Monroe can keep that no turnover thing going. 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, UAB 2-1 and one at Tulane 1-2. One 9 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, New Mexico 2-1 and one at UTEP 2-1. and one. Pretty good border war there between Texas and New Mexico. Might be a good game to watch late. Uh, 9.30 Eastern, Pac-12 Network. California 1 and 2 at Washington 1 and 2. Two Pac 12 North teams who are just horrible this year. 
All right, late night college football. Owls, here is our late games for all of us who like to stay up to the wee hours of the morning, celebrating that great sport of college football. Uh, 10 15 Eastern, ESPN 2, South Florida 1 and 2 at BYU 3 0. 10 30 Eastern on ESPN, Arizona 0 and 3 at Oregon 3 0. Wildcats aren't breaking that 15 game winning streak this week. I'm you can almost guarantee it. 10.30 Eastern on ESPNU, Colorado 1-2, and, and Arizona State 2-1. and one. Uh, Let's see, and the last one here, 10.30 Eastern, FS1. Oregon State 2-1 and one at USC 2-1. and one. That might be a pretty good game. Um, USC quarterback Jackson Dart, yeah, he led that comeback last, again, last week against Washington State. Uh, he's been unable to practice this week with a knee injury. I haven't heard if he's going to be playing tomorrow or not. Um, I've been looking for it, but anyway, it's probably going to be a pretty good game to watch anyway. They're both two and one, and they both seem to be playing pretty good. Well, uh, that's it. i am wasting enough time on your Friday. If you're at work, your boss is pissed because you're screwing around the internet with me instead of doing your work. Uh, anyway, uh, enjoy the football tomorrow. Be safe. Make good decisions, kids, because sometimes you don't get a second one. And um, we'll be back Tuesday with a review of what happened tonight and tomorrow. And then we'll be doing another show on Friday. So, hey, if you like it, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers. Tell them if they're bored at work, they can subscribe and listen to it in the background while they do their work. You know, why not? It'll pass some time. Anyway. We will see you all Tuesday and have a great weekend.